Well, hello there. What is up, y'all? John Alcorn here, founder and CEO of the Power of Money Entertainment Network. You may not be familiar with this program, that is okay. This is the first episode. This episode's coming every single Tuesday at 2.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. It's called Time Out with John Alcorn. Basically, why we call it Time Out with John Alcorn. It's on the host of the show, but also the word Time Out means let's take a break. Let's take a break from talking sports. Let's take a time out. Let's just relax, enjoy, and talk about different topics that aren't sports related. But Time Out with John Alcorn will be talking about stories that I have while working in the child care industry, a.k.a. the daycare industry. As we, folks, as we do before we start every single program, let's go into today's prayer break. Lord, this let this be an opportunity to reach somebody that they may not like sports, but whatever it is, let it shine your light on your love in your word, even when things are uncomfortable. But you are faithful. I pray that, I pray that this is an opportunity change people's lives in Jesus name amen today's Bible verse of the day Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 through 6 trust in the Lord with all your heart do not rely on your own understanding acknowledge him in all your ways and he will make your paths straight tomorrow Jesus or God story kind of bring what will bring what we talk about in our topics for the episode for the podcast. Always bring it back to God's word, whether it is on your phone, computer, or you have the physical Bible itself. It is not going to be easy sometimes. Just like whatever career that you pick, or whatever the career that God has for you, that gift that God gives you, it is not going to be easy, folks. Sometimes they're going to be like. Oh my gosh, I'm so, so, so stressed out. And I know it's not easy. When you trust in the Lord, put your faith in Him, God will always come through despite what the obstacles look like. And we'll talk more about obstacles here in a couple episodes here. Time out with John Alcorn. Episodes every single Tuesday, coming out every Tuesday at 2 30 p.m. Central Standard Time. I thought seven years ago. It is a great idea to start a career in child care. Let's try to work with kids. We're not talking about teachers. There's a lot of great male, teacher, male teachers I've had that have made such a positive impact in my life. We're not talking about being teachers. We're not talking about working at the gym. We're talking about in the daycare industry specifically, which is also called the child care industry. The daycare industry, the child care industry, is it what you think it is? I'm not talking about it when it pertains to drama. We're not talking drama on this channel. We don't, we're not about that. We're not about that. And they got it for money entertainment network, whether we're talking sports, live cartoons, SpongeBob, whatever it is. We don't talk about drama here at all in every way, shape or form or try to cause drama. The let's start a career in child care. Folks, as you know, we're going to be un very unfiltered out here. But what I mean by that is there's going to be no cussing, of course, but in terms of being honest. But any daycare names, any coworker names, none of that will be named. All of that will be kept private and confidential to be respectful to those people. We know the stereotype of men in child care, specifically the daycare industry, that a lot of men are – so quote unquote pedophiles that men shouldn't be working with kids in the daycare. If we know it's a fact, you could do your research, look at the articles, or work in the industry yourself, like it did for multiple years. The industry is female dominated. They really, for the most part, don't want men to work in childcare. And a lot of times, if you're a man that wants to work with kids in the daycare and make a positive impact in their lives. Where do you think they're going to put you first? You're going to be working with the after schoolers because the parents tend to sometimes run the daycares more than you think in terms of their opinions. Oh, I'm uncomfortable because I was also reading an article years ago before I truly studying before I truly started pursuing a career in childcare in the daycare industry. Is what some of the parents were thinking 
about men working in daycares was absolutely disgusting, was absolutely ridiculous. To some, one parent had an article that got taken down, they go, says, all men are pedophiles. I don't feel comfortable with a guy being in my kid's, kid's classroom. Why? Why are you uncomfortable? Is it because that the stereotype that we're kind of starting to figure out isn't completely true? Not all men are pedophiles in the child care industry. There are also some women that have done not so great things to children here. But my point of being in this child care industry when I was for seven years is that to make a difference, a positive difference in these kids' lives. And that's what I accomplished. Not because of my own strength, uh, because of my own will. I'm a very stubborn, very stubborn, powerful human being sometimes, folks. As we continue on, I was looking to get into the uh, internship side of this. I would say dig here number 415. Gave me the amazing opportunity to volunteer at that place. Kind of be so early on is before it really was my first child care job. I was the internship senior in high school. You look, go into the building, look around. You don't even have to go inside the classrooms. All the teachers, all the teachers, all the full-time teachers were all women. And there's nothing wrong with having women in the class. Like take women are, there's so many great moms that people aren't moms that are great examples for kids. But what I saw was a lack of positive male figures, positive father figures for kids in daycares. And that's an important topic that doesn't get talked about. And that's why I'm going to get to work on bringing it up more, even though I don't work with kids anymore in any capacity. This still doesn't mean that I don't want to make a positive difference in, kid, in kids' lives. It's to be, make awareness of issues that should not be an issue in the first place. Right, so I'm going down the, the building here as I'm about to go my first day of volunteering at this day for number 415. I kind of look around and it's like, you see, as you see, you get into the older age group, there's still no men. Again, there's a phenomenal daycare, best daycare I've ever been at. we will never mention the name, location. I know all of that, folks, is going to be private. I'll make that very abundantly clear to be respectful of those people's privacy. But as I go into my first day here, I go into the younger age, the infant classroom, and you kind of see, like, okay, there's a guy going to come in here to defy the odds. It's not just defying the odds. It's also what it says in this Bible verse right here. The trust in the Lord with all your heart. And then for me to not lean on my own understanding, Lord, I don't know where this is going to go. I don't know the opinions of what the parents are thinking, what the parents are saying, or what they're going to do, or are they going to be false accusations? Uh, who knows? Parents don't a lot. You may be surprised. More parents are not as accepted of men working in daycares, especially with the younger age group. Because of the false stereotype that all, all men are pedophiles. And you know, I'm going to trust you, Lord, on this. Let's see what happens. And it worked out beautifully. Shocker. It's not like he gave you the answer already in Philippians, or sorry, Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 through 6. Trust the Lord with all your heart, leaning not on your own understanding. Acknowledge him in all your past, and he will make your past straight. I trust him. And you know what? They had a, a kid there at the time. Their first time in daycare, the parents were very anxious. It was their first kid. And you know what, folks? That kid had an immediate bond with me. And that's kind of what you've seen. Kind of like what I've been able to do is like it's hard to explain some of the gifts that God has given out of me or some other people in their lives is that I had a motherly bonding with kids, despite being a male, working in daycares. It is not an easy industry. If you are a man, there are so many more obstacles, there are so many negative things to go through. And if it's really worth it, what kind of impact in the next couple of weeks, Time out with John Alcorn here on the God of Money Entertainment Network. As it's starting to work out, I'm going into different classrooms, the kids are bonding with Mr. John. More importantly, they're also bonding with myself and Mr. John, but they're also, we're also setting the tone for the classroom. We're here to 
how do how they go throughout the day. We're not just going to have it going all crazy where they're screaming and throwing toys around, and that's how the whole day is going to be. Now, to have a structure in the classroom, but we also like to have fun with activities or painting pictures or blowing bubbles, whatever types of different things you do with your own kids, but in daycares. It was such a great time. I was so honored and thankful to be there. To kind of continue on, some of the kids, let's just say, they would get genuinely attached. And it was crazy as I'm going through there, as I'm going to the, I'm trying to leave the other classroom without the other child seeing me. They, when I would leave to walk towards the door, here comes one of the kids turning around, seeing that I'm, that I'm leaving. And they made me feel like the worst human being on the planet because I'm leaving to go help another classroom. And they're so attached that some of them, when I try to put them down, they weren't very happy. But when they were sad, mad, or frustrated, even whether it's with the infants at any, at any place I volunteered at or even at church, whether it's the infants, or the, or the younger babies, like closer to newborn. When they, this is not me bragging about myself, but this is the peace of God and what God is doing in my life. It's not about me. When they were mad, sappy, happy, whatever, or they're mad, can't communicate. Teachers try to hold them, feed them, nothing. But when Mr. John came in the room, they let him pick him, pick him or her up. Can't come pretty much almost immediately. So that had nothing to do with my skill set. That's not something you learn or teach or you're taught. God gives us each certain gifts. I'm very good at talking about sports. More importantly, bring it back for God's glory. It's not about me. As you see, these the kids are getting attached to Mr. John, the ones that are able to talk and they're going to school, but they're coming to the to these daycares after school, but Mr. John, Mr. John, Mr. John. I hear that name so many times. I can still see some of those kids' faces in my head and in those memories. Those are some of the most great memories I've had with coworkers, with directors. So one of the best jobs I had was at a daycare years ago. Won't say when, but great best coworkers that I've ever had in my entire life. As you kind of continue on here, I was like, you know what? I really want to get actually a full time position to work in a daycare. So I to kind of move on here as I'm finishing off my senior year in high school, and then get an opportunity, folks, to work at my first ever daycare. I will not name daycare. Let's just say daycare number three hundred and seventy five. Had a great opportunity there. It was a lot because it was my first daycare job, my first child care job. Kind of really not understanding what goes in the day-to-day -day operations. It's not just, oh, here's an activity. Let the kids go do it. You need to sit down and drink your Starbucks. It's the exact opposite of that. It is. It can be very difficult. It can be very challenging. But at the end of the day, when it came to seven years later, I didn't enjoy it anymore. I lost the passion and the energy to work with kids in daycares. I'm done. I couldn't do it anymore. But during those times, those seven years, there were some of the most amazing memories, folks, that I have ever had. I'm going to continue on this first child care job. There was one kid. They were, I just say they, because I don't want to give... And in the case you have their name, I get all this stuff is private, but I know who I'm talking about in my head. I would be respectful of their privacy, and I totally understand. One of the kids there was super attached. Every time, even if I would walk in the room, the clock in, here comes Mr. John. Here comes Mr. John. Here comes Mr. John. Well, what does that kid do? They get out of the uh, whatever they're doing. They come to me. They put their arms up there for, for me to pick them up and hold them. There is nothing like that when a child puts their entire trust onto you. When a child shows you that they love you. There's nothing like that in a job. No amount of money, 
no blood on fame could bring that much happiness or joy that it had in those moments right there. It was so awesome kind of bonding with the coworkers and kind of knowing, hey, yeah, you know, you're probably working with mostly women and not a problem with that, but it is a woman dominated field here. So it's going to be kind of hard to make friends outside of there. Like, like I've never met an opportunity, but we're kind of getting off track here. We're getting all over the place. So let's get back into the program here. Time out with Sean O'Quirm on the Gutter of Money Entertainment Network here. Episodes every single Tuesday at 2.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. I kind of bought it with the coworkers inside. It was it was awesome though, because what we would do certain times on the weekend, we're like, oh, we have to work on a Sunday. Hey, it's gonna be one, two, three. These coworkers coming in. Hey, this weekend I'll buy the Starbucks. This week I'll get the sodas. Or this week I'll get the energy drink or water. Whatever you want for this shift, I will buy it for you. Whether it's myself doing that, whether it was another coworker, whether it was the director. Or whether it was the owner coming around, has such a great relationship with the owner. I was so thankful for that opportunity here. And sometimes randomly the owner would come by and they're they are awesome. And what would happen is that okay, hey, you're middle of your shift. We know it's difficult. We can't change the time, we can't reverse the time or some of the stress because working in daycares is very stressful. I know it looks like you're just playing around all day, but it depends on what daycare you get in. You get what you pay for, quality. Versus just paying cheap, I promise you, one is better worth it over the other. Because we're going to hear the director or the owner a bit, hey, I know it's been tough on the day. Let's go. Get, uh, I'll get you some Starbucks. What do you want? And that to me, it's like that's the type of what sets a great workplace. Not just in daycares, whether you're in sports or whatever industry you're in, or you're just in your first job. Those type of great workspaces can set up for a better day, despite how stressful it can be working with the kids, despite how that day the kids are a little bit more difficult. When you have a director or owner or coworkers that truly care about each other like we did at this place, we were able to joke around outside of work professionally, of course, but able to kind of joke around and truly care about what's going on in each other's lives outside of work and get, hey, what do you do this weekend? Oh, let's go hang out, get a cup of coffee, let's go watch the game or something like that. That's, despite there being a lot of drama or things that I won't talk about because I don't, I don't talk drama, I don't like that. Yeah, there were still a lot of great moments with coworkers that, frankly, folks, I will never forget. And we thank you for the opportunity for watching this show as we continue on these fast five minutes we're in the program there that we would kind of continue on throughout the summer. It would get busy. You'd have to be, hey, here's a, here's a Red Bull or something. The director always thought about their her, their coworkers, sorry, their employees over themselves. And that, to me, is what shows a good boss. No matter how difficult the boss's day is, the boss, the owner, director, whatever place it is, they were able to put their co their employees over themselves, hey, you need some help? Let me help you out with these kids. It can be a little bit difficult. I know this is your first child care job, so let's just take our time. Let's do this together. Let's breathe. Take your time. And just these small kind of kindness is randomly coming in and buying a Starbucks or something. I was like, wait, that makes my entire day. Despite how stressful it was, that makes my entire day. Small, tiny gestures of kindness make a difference, no matter what industry you are in. The time there was awesome. I was so thankful there after six months. Just like, you know what? I'm ready to kind of move on to kind of like maybe a different place to continue to get my feet wet in the daycare industry. So I move on to this and another amazing place. It was, it was a uh, family-owned place. I won't say what it was. There's a lot of family owned daycares, but I will not name them. Daycare number 485, 382. None of those names will be mentioned, but it was really cool to get to know them and to really be like, hey, whatever I can do to help. And I really, and it just no thought of this guy just was giving me this is that what are you showing me? What I was learning and how to work in day to day operations for a daycare was teaching me how to work in day-to-day operations 
for a Christian sports network because there's things you got to do. Like you got, you got content making. There's, there's lies. There's small things you don't think about that make the facility run, that make the network run, how to have great people skills on and off the phone, te- learning some of that out of high school, which is not giving the opportunity to have such great friends and so many people in the industry. I'm so blessed and so honored to be able to do that. As you kind of early on working with these after school kids, these kids were like awesome. I mean, I understand like sometimes kids can be, have their days where they are very challenging, where they can be very frustrated. But there are days in the child care, daycare industry where the kids just, they're just so kind. They are just, they have such great hearts. And they're like, Mr. John, Mr. John. It was, it was, I know it sounds maybe, I don't know, boring for somebody that doesn't work in the daycare industry or doesn't have kids, but getting to able to help the kids with their homework. And that's just helping them with their homework when they're having a hard time understanding a problem, whether it's with their math, homework, science, or anything. And when it finally clicks into their head, that they understand that excitement and joy they get when they finally understand that math problem on the homework that I had the honor and privilege to help them with. That's what that's what I loved here. Not necessarily about of getting money from being a co-owner one day. Who knows what was the plans at the time? But that was in a reward in itself. Getting to be able to help a kid understand and help them with their homework to where they understand it to this last point here before you end today's program is that there are opportunities there to where the kids and teachers are like, well, what's happening? What's wrong? There would be some kids that only would trust Mr. John if they had a problem, whether it's with another kid at daycare, because kids, kids can be kids and we're here to help them out with whatever they need. They only trust Mr. John. You had a problem at school. You want to vent to somebody. They would trust Mr. John. They would trust Mr. John. And that to me in itself was a huge reward. No amount of money I would trade for those moments where the kids say, hey, Mr. John, I need to talk to you. I trust you. And I want to be able to tell you something that is very important to me. Or something, this is their last, my last point here in this program, is that when kids have something exciting about their day, they couldn't wait to get to, get to daycare to tell Mr. John how their day was that minute so much to me we'll continue this next week next tuesday 2 30 p.m here time out with john alcorn as we talk about my stories in the daycare industry thank you all so much for the support and i will see you next tuesday 3 30 p.m time out with john alcorn but check out tonight which is episode is pre-recorded in advance of so tomorrow or yesterday night for monday night football recap Las Vegas Raiders versus the Baltimore Ravens. Thank you all so much for the support. God bless. Peace.